We all need a spiritual repositioning to possess our possessions. We need a spiritual repositioning. Welcome to Apostle TV. The message you're about to watch will definitely transform your life. Be blessed as you watch. To the law and to the testimony, if they speak not according to his word, because there's no light in them. So testimonies enlighten just as the word does. Testimonies are validations of the word. You receive testimonies of the Lord on any subject, it still has faith. It still has faith. The testimony of Wigglesworth still had faith in me that imparted me with a far above mentality over all devils. 1979. Can't recover from it for life. I can't recover from it for life. How he despised the devil and triumphed. Take it how you hear. God is speaking. Through diverse means, through the songs of the choir, through the praise worship time. Take it how you hear. I repented of my sin. Even though I never told them I was investing their money in some business, yet they forgave me. When I returned, I was restored. It's time to return. It's time to return back on course. God does not bless crookedness. God does not bless the crooked. Say to the righteous, I shall be well with them. It's never late. To be right. It's never late to be right. A U turn is wisdom when you're on the wrong road. No matter how long you have gone on that wrong road, you don't return, you don't make a turn, you never get to where you are going. The Lord spoke to me and is manifesting that now with all the time we are hearing on a spiritual repositioning of the church. The church is not a building, it's a people. We all need a spiritual repositioning to possess our possessions. We need a spiritual repositioning. But you have to receive the engrafted word of God with meekness. Meekness. How can I say I'm right? How can I say I'm wrong? You are wrong. You are wrong, you are wrong. Amiko Trenoya, a Lankra Potapo, without a spiritual transformation in this season, you didn't come. You are not part of it. It's a time of spiritual renewal, spiritual rejuvenation. It's time to reposition. It's time to reposition. It's time to reposition. It's time to go forward. It's time to take steps forward. That my Yao Yao song repented. And God decorated his life. Gave me a business idea that brings in me, you know, in dollars. Repositioning to possessing your possession. Vital. You don't change your language. You can't see the way forward. You don't think, change the way you think. Nothing will change. I was chatting with my people today in the editorial team and I said, mind your mind. Mind your mind. That is so many lives. Mind your mind. I don't care how my mind. Your mind is not safe. It's not hankered on God. Mind your mind. Guard the loss of your mind. Stop dispersing the word in your heart. I don't, I don't believe that. I don't believe that. You know, your papa can go to an extreme. I don't believe that. I didn't write the Bible. I didn't write the Bible. May the meekness acquire to allow the word of God to settle you. You need to be settled. You, you, you have been struggling. You need to be settled. He has settled many people. He must settle you too. He wants to settle you too. And for those who are settled, he wants to settle you to another level. Another level of settlement. Where you move and evil departs. Evil moves. You move and evil moves away. 
he wants to change your own level, my own level to next level. Thank you, Jesus. Lord Jesus, over to you. No one can change himself, only you can change people. What you don't show us, we cannot see. It is the Lord who has shown us light. Lord, show me the light that will move me forward. Show me the light. Before this fasting is over, show me the light that will keep me on a forward movement life for life. Show me the light. Show me the light. I know you don't bless the obedience. You don't bless the obedience. You don't bless disobedience. And ignorance is no excuse. Ignorance is no excuse. So help me, Jesus. Show me the light that will keep moving me forward in my walk with you and in my journey in life. Show me the light before this season is over. Show me the light. Fasting is a season of outbreak of light. Show me the light that will keep my life on ever forward motion. Ever forward motion. Show me the light that will give me speed, speed, speed in my life. Give me, show me the light, Jesus. Show me the light. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' precious name. Give the Lord a big hand and get seated, please. Those charges where you stand, they are marching orders like in the military. You don't sit down to get, take orders. You stand to take orders. Mind those clips. They are meant for your good. Mind those clips. Can I tell you this? Before the God of heaven, anyone who chooses to turn from everything that displeases God, we enter into fortune. Everyone who cares to turn from everything you know displeases God, you enter into fortune. Favor is the lot of the righteous. Thou, O Lord, will bless the righteous. With favor, without surrounding him about as with a shield. Favor is not the lot of the crooked. Favor is not the lot of the hypocrite. Psalm 5 and verse 12. Ameko trenia, le panklan klen krok teneo predia. We said it here before that the sun or the moon has no light of its own. It simply aligns to the sun at a particular angle. And so what you see, we call the moonlight, is a reflection of the light from the sun. The sun generates all the heat that releases the light. The moon is so cold and chilly, but reflects the glory of the sun by simple, correct alignment. When we align with God, we don't struggle again. We don't generate temperature anymore. It leads the way. And all these ways are ways of pleasantness on all our parts are peace. You may get material possession through prayer means, but it will always come along with sorrow. 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 Harrowing kind of life. But his blessings make it rich and it has no sorrow. The, the word fortune, the fortune prophetic package for the year demands that we return to God. Demands that we turn away from evil. Demands that we turn away from pride. And let God be God. Mind your mind is always at war with your spirit. Your mind is always at war with your spirit. No, I can't take that. No, no, no. I know what I'm doing. Leave me alone. Can't do that. Go and win souls. No, 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 no. At my level. You know, souls. How can I? You know. What will I say? To who? No, I, I call my staff and say, you need Jesus. No. The world has changed. Anything that moves you against the world is the loss of your mind, your position, your status, your level, 
I don't know what level you are in. But will you ever, ever compare with God? Satan thought one time, I'll be like God. I think God is already is, is monopolizing everything. I want to compete with them. Angels of God, are you hearing me? I'm planning a coup. How many want to support me? One third. One third of the angels. Now it's time to blow it. When you hear me blow the trumpet, move. Let's remove God. Let's remove God. He that sits in heaven shall allow. He said, okay, Satan, I remove you. And your angels. Down to the pit. I used that to cast out the devil one time. The angels, which left their forces, they did not keep their forces, but they are kept in prison. So Satan is in prison. When you see him outside a John jail, you send him back there. He said, and the angels which kept not their first estate, but left their own habitation, as he resulted in everlasting change unto darkness until the day. So I told that madman, pointing my finger, the angels that kept not their first estate. What are you doing here? All the devils left. These are realities. Don't argue with the truth. You can't win it. You can't win a debate. <laughs> no. God is not in your class, not in my class. It's God whether you are there or there, whether I'm there and I'm not there. It's God forever. You know, the good news, for everyone who cares to return, you'll be gloriously restored. You care to return, you'll be gloriously restored. If you choose to return, sir, you will be gloriously restored. If you choose to return, he said, all those nonsense money that you borrow people, it's not your money, it's bad money. Let them go. Don't ask them again, no. That house will be with that dirty money. Throw it away. And he obeyed. He obeyed. He obeyed. Not that he started down. Oh God, thank you. I know it's an idea. I'll think about it someday. 